see what people know about Kim's safety. Go young scientists. <laughs>
Flab ain't big enough for the twos of us. I challenge you to a duel. No worth playing loud. What? Do not be eating or drinking in oh, the laboratory. No, contaminated. Mm -hmm. That could be bad no. for your internal organs. No eating in lab. There are dangerous chemicals. No distractions. <laughs> <laughs> And then if I have any other questions, I ask Mr. Hurst. Oh. Or, is that who your teacher is, Mr. Hurst? No, Mr. Schnabel. <laughs> Mr. Schnabel. I would still ask Mr. Hurst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Thank you. And when all else fails, ask Mr. Schnabel for some advice. <laughs> Safety's number one. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> was that part of the manual? Uh, was that scripted? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just was really good. Oh, it's so awkward. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I'm not. Wait, wait, yeah, it was on video. Scientist Forest. <laughs> Scientist Forrest, you must go out there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, number one, uh, glass, Bunsen burners, and water don't mix. I learned that one when I was in chemistry. <laughs> I got in trouble. <laughs> yeah, that, that was good. That was good. Okay, here we are with our principal, Mr. Brown, and we're going to ask him what he knows about chem safety. What do you know about chem safety? Wear your goggles at all times. Know where the little wash thing is, so if you get like chemicals on you, you can go take a shower. Uh, wear your lab coats you guys have on right now. Um, no chemicals that you're going to mix. Don't mix two chemicals that are going to explode. Um, and when all else fails, ask Mr. Schnabel for some advice. That's about it. Thank you. Okay. Well. <laughs>